YouTube. It's me and Cinnamon. That's my sweet girl. She's hanging out with me. And today I wanted to talk about six things that I do daily to just appreciate life and to just sometimes center myself. But there are 10 things that I try to do daily, especially now that I am 51 years old. <clears throat> I find the older you get, the more grace we should have for ourselves. And let's begin. So the first thing is I spend time in prayer. Um, I know there's God and I believe in a God and I have a lot of peace with life and all that's going on because of prayer, because of the relationship I have with God. So that's my number one most important thing that I do before I go to sleep and when I wake up in the morning. And as I travel and if I have a concern, um, one of my favorite scriptures said, be anxious for nothing, but in prayer and supplication, let your request be made known to God and the peace of God, which surpasses all understanding, will guide your heart and your mind in Christ Jesus. So with a chaotic world, we need to have peace. And for me, my foundation, my faith in God keeps me moving. It helps me to enjoy the life despite all the chaos going on in the world. The second thing I do daily is to be grateful. Oh, there's so many things to be grateful for. I'm grateful for this cute little dog that gives me a great therapy just hanging out with me. I'm grateful to be married to an amazing husband. I'm grateful to have children. I actually have had a miscarriage before and, and had a loss, but I have been blessed to have children who are now adults. I can go on and on. I truly believe in just waking up and looking around you wherever you are um, just to give thanks. So that is a very important part of my daily practice. The next thing I'm working on is taking better care of my body. As I'm 51, now that I'm 51, I have to have more grace for me. I don't need to be rough and tough and I need to give myself grace. Um, one big thing is I'm constantly having hair on my chin. Oh my goodness, it's, it's, it is uh, bothers me <laughs> but it's just for me part of my maturing I'm not gonna say aging but part of my body maturing so learning to have grace with things um, uh, with my body and the changes that are happening there and so instead of being frustrated just to find new ways to pamper myself and and obviously that big pampering is doing the Ipsy bag. So the Ipsy bag is a great way that I pamper myself and I will open this um, before the end of the video. The number four thing is appreciate more people in my life. I've got a lot of great um, family members and friends. Well, actually I have a small family, but they're supportive and loving. Um, and then obviously my husband has a much larger family and they're very supportive and loving. I had a great call with uh, cousin Brenda the other day. Thank you, cousin Brenda, you blessed my heart. So just appreciating those people. And then I've got a lot of great friends um, in my life and I just appreciate each and every one of them. The friendships, the family. Uh, we can't say it enough. I moved to a new community. I have nice neighbors, so I'm just appreciative for the neighbors, uh, for the co-workers that I work with. There's so many um, people that I'm thankful for, even the people that, you know, I don't agree upon. Um, I work in a place that most people voted for Donald Trump, um, but I can have good, healthy conversations with, with um, these folks I work with, and that's a good thing. So being appreciative for those in my life is an important thing that I really try to do every day. Number five, move your body. I cannot say enough about walking, yoga, just all those things are so important. Our body needs to move. We, 
we are made to walk and to move. And the more I mature, the more I need to move more. Um, I was doing yoga regularly, but this job, it just takes so much from me that I just have to figure it out how that's going to work out. But moving my body more is something I really need to work on. And that last thing, which is so important to me, is being creative. Oh, I love being creative. Whether it's writing, um, making soap, making handmade cards, those things just make me feel wonderful. I can't explain it to you. It's just people that like to create, we can't even put it in words, can we? But we love being able to create. So those are my top six things that um, I do every single day. It feeds my spirit. It helps me to be a blessing to someone. And I am always blessed back. So thank you for that. And if you're ready, I'm going to start talking about my Ipsy bag, my November Ipsy bag. And also I wanted to share, um, I've been just collecting these bags and um, you, you only need a few yourself. But um, I want to start giving um, a bag and some soap away. Um, I would like to do it like once a month or once every other month. Um, so I'll be doing a blog. And on my blog is when I can give that information. So that information um, will not be given on YouTube, but the blog uh, will be available soon. And I also um, very soon will be able to have an Etsy store up. I've been making batches of soap every day. I made a wonderful batch of soap yesterday. Um, I won't be able to reveal it because it needs another 24 hours to cure. And I will be making some soap tonight as well. So that's definitely um, my creative um, time that I absolutely enjoy. But just want to show you what's in here. So what do we got here? And I love the bag. The bag is super cute. That is a very cute bag. It even has a little star there. Is that cute? It is well worth it, you guys. It's only $10 a month and you get all kinds of goodies. And this was so funny. I was thinking to myself, I wish they would send some lotion sometime. You know it. This month we got lotion in a nice size bottle too. This lotion is called Delectable and it's considered an ultra nourishing hand cream. What I like about it, it's very light. There's not much smell to it at all. It's very light. Very light. But it does moisturize the hands really nice. And this, there's a slight scent. It's kind of like peppermint, like a mild peppermint. But I like that. Let's see, the next thing we got is Mad Lash. So a nice mascara called Mad Lash. And a matte stick, a matte lipstick. Interesting. I'm just curious. I'm going to open it. I'll try it out real quick. Hope it doesn't take too long. Oh, it's so pretty. The color is really pretty. Look at that. That's a pretty color. Now, anybody knows me, I know I don't like a lot of color, but I'm trying to do things new. That's interesting. And I like that it's, it is a very, it's a pretty color. It is a very pretty color. Okay. Oh, and a really nice brush. This is a nice brush. This is says multi lux. A nice brush. A lux luxy. 
It is a really nice brush. Look at those bristles. Oh my goodness. This is so soft and silky. It's really, really a nice brush. Be very careful what I use this for. Something just right. Really, really nice brush. The $10 um, monthly purchase was well worth this brush alone. And the last thing I have in here is some eyeshadow. Teeny Beauty is the name of this eyeshadow. Firestarter is the color. Teeny Beauty is the brand, and Firestarter is the color, the color name. So that was my five things from Ipsy. And um, with me not being a huge beauty person, I absolutely love getting this Ipsy bag. So thank you for stopping by. Um, stay connected and be sure to watch out for those links for my upcoming blog and for my Etsy store. So thank you so much. Look forward to seeing you again real soon. Bye.